Hi students, today we are going to do a topic from number theory, application of congruences. So the application which I have picked is how do we find the last few digits of any number raised to a power. This is one of the applications of congruences. Let's start with an example. What if we are asked to find the last digit of 7 to the power 23? That is, when we expand this number, what will be the last digit? So, in layman's language, we have to find the last digit of this integer when we divide this by 10. So, what exactly is the problem? It says, what is 7 to the power 23 congruent to mod 10? If we write it, it will be 7 to the power 23 is congruent to x mod 10. So we have to find such a x. There are many ways in which the remainder x can be found. Let's see the first method. As we know, phi of m, which is known as the Euler's function, phi of 10 will be nothing but 4. And we can use the Euler's theorem a to the power 5m is congruent to 1 mod m as in our case GCD of 7 and 10 which is equal to 1 and that is the condition when the congruence a to the power 5m is congruent to 1 mod m holds. So here 7 to the power 4 will be congruent to 1 mod 10. Now, if we raise both sides of the congruence to the power 5, we get 7 to the power 20 is congruent to 1 mod 10. But our original question was, what is 7 to the power 23 congruent to? We know that 7 to the power 23 can be written as 7 to the power 20 into 7 to the power 3. Now, 7 to the power 20 is congruent to 1, so we write 1, and we are left with 7 to the power 3. We know that 7 to the power 3 is nothing but 343. So, if we divide 343 by 10, the last digit in the unit's place will be 3. Alternatively, we can write 7 to the power 23 as 7 to the power 22 into 7. Now, we know that 7 square is 49. And if we add 1, it becomes 50 and hence will be divisible by 10. So we can write 7 square is congruent to minus 1 mod 10. 7 to the power 22 is nothing but 7 square raised to the power 11. And we can always replace 7 square by minus 1. Minus 1 raised to 11 will be minus 1. So 7 to the power 23 which is 7 to the power 22 into 7 will be congruent to minus 1 into 7 which is minus 7 and we know that minus 7 is congruent to 3 mod 10. So again we get the last digit as 3. Let's take another example. What if we have to find the last two digits of 7 to the power 23? In this case we will take the modulus as 100 and now the problem becomes of finding the integer x such that 7 to the power 23 is congruent to x mod of 100. We can still use Euler's theorem as the GCD of 7 and 100 is 1. So we know that phi of 100 will be 40 and from the theorem we get 7 to the power 40 is congruent to 1 mod 100. But our question had 7 to the power 23 and we see that 40 is a bigger number than 23. So the Euler's theorem does not help us at all. Which means we have to use some smaller power of 7. We can see that 7 to the power 4 will be congruent to 1 mod 100. So 7 to the power 23 can be written as 7 to the power 4 multiplied by 5 plus 3 or if we split it up it will be 7 to the power 4 raised to 5 
multiplied by 7 cube. This will give us congruence to 1 to the power 5. We have replaced 7 to the power 4 by 1 into 7 cube. This gives us 7 to the power 3 mod 100 which is nothing but 343. So if we divide 343 by 100, the last two digits will be 43. Let's see another example where we have to find last two digits of 2 to the power 23. Now again the modulus will be 100. So we have to find the integer x such that 2 to the power 23 is congruent to x mod of 100. We cannot use Euler's here just because GCD of 2 and 100 is not 1. So we'll try the powers of 2. What if we take 2 to the power 9? We'll see that 2 to the power 9 is congruent to 12 mod 100. And 2 to the power 23 can then be written as 2 to the power 9 into 2 multiplied by 2 to the power 5. So 2 to the power 9 was nothing but 12. So we write this right hand side is congruent to 12 square into 2 to the power 5. Now 12 square, square is 144. When we divide by 100, 44 is the residue and 2 to the power 5 is 32. So we have 44 into 32. We multiply and we see that modulus 100 gives us the residue 08. So if we are asked to find the last three digits of any integer raised to a power well, we will have to divide by 1000. In this case, we will take the modulus to be 1000. Thank you for watching the video.